Hey guys, Kev here, and I have four rapid reviews to do for you. So, as is customary lately, I'm going to try to run through these real quick. I got my LaCroix Lime. I'm going to start with the Quiet Carry Drift LC. So, I did a video on this already, but I like to give a sort of uh, follow up you know, rapid review sort of deal. This is a larger version of the Drift. It's a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger. It is uh, heavily contoured, um, mostly on this side, it feels like, but it's hard to tell with the G10. I think it is contoured over here. Um, it has LC200N steel and a sort of P-shaped hole. Um, it's $300, and it has G10 on one side, titanium on the other. I'd love to see this be like 250 at that uh, in that build, especially with LC200N, because they were doing Vanex with G10 on one side on the drift for 250, right? Um, so, I mean, costs have gone up and all that goodness, and this is a larger knife, but it'd be cool to see that or see full titanium for that $300 price point, but they may have done this G10 so that they could keep the price where they did instead of having a $400 knife in all tie, right? Um, the build quality is exceptional as usual with Quiet Carry. Um, it is a guillotine. This guy is on bearings. It is a very much right-hand biased knife. You cannot flip the clip and it does not reverse flick well uh, left-handed. You can get your thumb in here and give it a flick but my favorite deployment on this knife is the thumb flick right-handed it just has really good ergos for that um yeah it's very different than the drift the drift is a small gentleman kind of carry um can use it in any situation type of knife um this is a little bit bigger beefier uh heavier um, still has the rust proof nature to it just running on bearings so you just want to make sure you don't get anything down in there um, but it has a very nice milled clip just like the quiet carry 9 and it is a uh, fantastic build quality really cool um, new offering here from quiet carry i will link all of these down below so that is the drift next one i have uh beaten <laughs> uh the dead horse is that, is that the saying don't beat a dead horse. I don't know. I have beaten the shit out of this horse. Uh, this is the Baby Nessie from Urban ADC. To spare you the time, you can check out some of my other videos. I've never done a dedicated video on it, but it deserves one. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. This is probably my favorite Urban EDC release since the F5.5. No. Um, I do love the baby Barlow and, uh, we have a Devo collaboration coming up, but it's way up there guys. I absolutely love this knife. Um, it just melts into the hand very, very well. I am very much considering picking one up. Um, it's got beautiful thumb studs with some ribbing in it. Good jimping here. It just does everything we wanted the Nessie to do. Um, it's smaller, it's studs. Um, it's thinner. It's it, man, it just melts into my hand. It's just an excellent pocket knife. And um, I've had this guy for way too long, and I've enjoyed every single moment with it. So um I highly recommend this one. It is a pre-order. You can check it out at Urban EC again. Link down below. That's the baby Nessie. Next one is another one from Urban EC on pre-order. This is the Urban minimalist so this is the collaboration with brandon over at everyday minimalist i've only had a little bit of time with this one and um it's not really my bag i would say it's not my type of knife um it kind of to me falls in that category with like a chavez um you know something large or like that got a little bit of meat to it um a little bit of heft to it that's just not my kind of knife um, but it is really well made. You can tell it's made by Riot. Um, reverse flick on it's pretty good. The uh, action on it is pretty good as well. I do wish these thumb studs had the ribbing like the ones here on the Nessie. You still get that cool look on the side. 
Um, the frame lock is susceptible to pressure, so you just need to be a little bit careful. If I'm up here at all on that, it's I can't fire it out, and that's where I naturally grip because it's sort of a slim down handle. Left hand thumb flick works pretty well. Um, I think they are thinning it out in production. I think they're adding a compound grind. Hopefully this will become a hollow in the back here. Um, it is, uh, I think it's like $2.99 on pre-order or $3.25 on pre-order. And then there's a um, Sagaha pattern or some kind of special pattern that's uh, almost $400, I think. Um, so a bit pricey, but, you know... Uh, Things are getting expensive. It does have the F5.5 style clip on it, and it does bite into my palm quite a bit. So that's my biggest downside with this knife, aside from it's just not my style aesthetically. The clip does get me quite a bit. Um, so just keep that in mind if this does uh, really float your boat and you decide to pick one up. I, um, I think it's cool. I think it's a really nice first design from Brandon. And I hope it does extremely well for him. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is this one you're picking up? Have you already placed your pre-order? Um, very, very cool. This is the Urban Minimalist. And the last but absolutely not least one is the Winter Blade Co. Factor B3. So this is the uh, last batch of these, or sorry, the newest batch of these. And... Man, did he kill it with all of the changes. You have a full titanium handle. You can also get full carbon fiber. And then you have a carbon fiber backspacer here. You can also get it with the flip lever, your choice. I believe he'll be selling either or. So you could swap it out if you wanted to. Very, very cool there. Reversible clip again, which is great. These are all going to be T8s in production. Um, you have the M-Lock system, which works on magnets. So you have a magnetic detent system. He did find a way to strengthen this back up because the B2 was a little bit weaker. Um, this is absolute money. I have no complaints on the detent. It feels wonderful. Um, so he crushed that and yeah, I'm back in the game on this one. Uh, really excited. Hope I can get one, uh, when they come in, love the pivot, love the micro milling, just all the changes are absolutely fantastic. You could get it in Damascus. You could also get it in the stonewash M390. And then there were some Timascus, uh, clips available and stuff like that. Um, the Mad Genius continues to kill it. Uh, my biggest gripe on the knife, honestly, is that that screw is empty. There's not some kind of filler here. Um, that's really it. I love this knife to death. I think that uh, the Factor is one of the coolest, most innovative uh, knives of the century. And... Um, yeah, there's really no arguing with that. So there you guys have it. That's the Factor B3, the Urban EDC Nessie, the Urban EDC Minimalist, and the Quiet Carry Drift XL. Some different stuff there for you. Let me know what you guys think. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Check the links down below if you're interested, and I will catch you later.